Hello, this is James from Millogics.com. Um, what I have here is the uh, um, latest um, Android OS. It's uh, it's for the uh, Smart Q5a. Uh, I've loaded it on my device. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, my Bluetooth adapter. In case there's anybody wondering, um, I picked it up off of eBay. Works rather nicely. It was like uh, a, like under $2. Um, as you can see, this is the Android OS. Uh, as you can tell, it's a vertical screen uh, when it first loads. Um, and it's also in Japanese. So uh, this is the lock screen. Prevents uh, any false tapping or anything from affecting your device. Okay, to change the screen, what you do is you hold the uh, menu button. You hold it down. And there you go. Now it's uh, horizontal instead of vertical. Okay, uh, first thing, uh, let's unlock the screen. The way you do this is you just tap the menu button. Okay, this is the uh, Android desktop. Um, as you can probably tell uh, from any of us that have actually played with the Android. Uh, operating system. Uh, it flows rather nicely, uh, as you can see. There's a uh, clock in the center of the screen. Application menu. Uh, a lot of applications actually uh, to start off with. Let me uh, pull that across. Okay, first things first. Uh, what we need to do is we need to change the language to Jap or from Japanese to a language of your choice. In my case, it would be English. Uh, to do so, what you do is you click on the uh, hammer and wrench icon on the desktop, okay, and you're going to get this menu. Okay, what you have to do is you have to scroll to the bottom, okay, and you'll see this long character string here. This is how you change or change the uh, the language. Okay, so you click here. And then this character string here at the top is what you do to select your language. Let's click on it once. Okay. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of languages. I mean, I could just scroll through real fast. Uh, there's many different forms of English. There's Korean, Turkish, uh, uh, Chinese. Uh, Chinese, Taiwanese, um, Russian, Romanian, uh, just selected Polish. Yeah, let's select that. Um, let me go to uh, setting it to English. You even have English Canadian, English UK, um, New Zealand, Singapore. We're going to select English US. Okay. And as you can see, the uh, characters have now all changed. Uh, they're now in English. Um, to back out of any menu, um, you use the uh, plus key. Okay. If you want to just drop straight to the main menu, use the minus key. It'll push you right back to the main menu. A um, couple of things. Since the biggest question has been, okay, what applications can you load or you know, uh, YouTube, for instance. I got an application for YouTube. Let's pull it up. Let's do a top uh, rated. Let's try this one. One of the things I noticed is the YouTube video playback is actually um, kind of lower res than what I was expecting. Uh, like a, almost like a cell phone, like a lower res display. And some of the videos actually turn out okay and viewable, but it's not exactly what you'd be expecting for a PDA with this kind of resolution. Audio playback is rather well. And if you notice, there's not really a whole lot of lag at all. Uh, it seems to uh, flow rather nicely. Okay, to back out of that, use the uh, plus key. 
and uh, as you can see, the, you can pretty much surf YouTube for for videos. Okay, let's back out of this. Uh, one of the other things was browsing. So let's open up the browser. Okay, there's the uh, website. I'll just uh, as you can see, it flows rather well. Um, let's select a form. Okay. But it's rather interesting. You can do the, uh, you could zoom out. Um, makes it more more viewable, especially for web surfing. Uh, it's still when browsing. It's still like a uh, like a cell phone. Um, but at least on this display, it appears rather well. Uh, the thing I like the most. Uh, there's a couple of applications on here. You can actually install Facebook applications, so you can log into Facebook or MySpace. Um, pretty much anything that Android uh, supports. Uh, let's see. Here's the uh, marketplace. And what you can do here is you can actually go through you can go through applications, show all the applications. It's really configured um, a lot like iTunes. So you have a lot of applications. They're free. Uh, as you scroll through them, you can search. Let's see if let me uh, install something. Go ahead. Okay, you can also check the uh, status scrolling down a menu. Uh, let me put that back up. And if it was uh, installing, it would actually uh, give me some kind of indicator. Uh, I did find that a lot of the features tend to be more finger uh, oriented uh, than stylus. Uh, for instance, you know, if I use my finger to select items, and so on and so forth. But it is rather nice. Uh, I, I really do like the interface itself, especially for the uh, smart uh, Q device. As far as a an operating system, it's a little too much like a cell phone for me, but I mean if you're looking for audio to play um, play media files, or I should say like mp3s and stuff, it seems to be okay. Uh, when playing uh, movies and such, it tends not to react uh, as well as I would like. Uh, the resolution tends to be smaller, um, which I don't know if that's like a setting. Try to uh, see if I can uh, find something here. This is uh, let me uh, search through my uh, SD card. As you can see, I've been working on a lot of stuff. Let's see. There we go. I'll play with this. Yeah, so there's some applications it doesn't like. It tends to like uh, M uh, MPEG and uh, and uh, H.264, I think that's the protocol, the, uh, the same, uh, same as like uh, iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, it tends to like those protocols better. I just want to quit. Uh, but all in all, it's a really, uh, really interesting OS. So I'm looking forward to see what... Uh, how well the uh, other applications run. It has mail, Google Talk, things like that. Anyway, this is uh, James from illogics.com, and this is my uh, Smart Q5 with the uh, Android OS. Thanks.